22 veterans commit suicide every day here in the U.S. One Green Country vet, as he worked to cut that number, had the problem hit too close to home. That's right. Two Works News' Christy Maria shows us how after one veteran suicide, an effort to save others has only grown stronger. When it hit close to me, I mean, it hit, this is as close to home as it can get. This is Victor Lazama's image, the barracks. Its goal, to help fellow veterans get back on their feet. It was almost time to open when tragedy struck. About two weeks ago, I have a cousin. Um, he was, I think, his, on his 17th year in the Army. He apparently had some demons that he just could not uh, fight on his own and uh, ended up losing the battle. Gil Ortiz, a husband and father, took his own life. This is a man who, you know, was there when my daughter passed away. You know, our, our wives were pregnant together. You know, we, we, he was stationed in Lawton here, just here in Oklahoma. And I'm reading all these text messages and seeing if there's any kind of clue, you know, a, a, a reaching out for help or something because he knew what we were doing. Lazama learned when a fellow veteran loses their battle, it affects everyone around them. It broke me down. Uh, it broke me down bad because I was thinking to myself that, if I can't even help my own cousin, how am I going to help fellow veterans? I felt like a failure. Uh, I felt angry because, you know, why didn't he reach out to me? The barracks opening delayed while the family mourned. But out of the hardship, the effort to help other vets and prevent 22 veteran suicides every day is now stronger than ever. And the push to open March 21st is right behind him with help from dozens of volunteers. Yeah, we come up here um, for a couple hours. We try to, a couple days a week. 100% worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Lazama, with his cousin in his heart, now pushes forward to help whoever comes through the door. Hidden close to home was something that I think motivated me more, more than ever to, to do what we're gonna do now. In Muskogee, Chris DiMaria, Two Works for You.